Oh, what's up? I forgot to put, take this off. But thank you to all my Patreon members. I appreciate the support. It is always fantastic to, to get that kind of uh, support from the community. And thanks, everybody, for showing up and uh, checking checking out the show. Uh, I'm going to continue drawing my uh, my picture of Cyborg. Let me share that real quick of where I left off. Not, la not last week, but the week before, or was it last week? I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, but let me uh, share the screen. This is this is uh, where I left off with Cyborg. Let me just uh, zoom in. I might change his uh, his left arm a little bit. I might raise it up, uh, and then I'm going to add some more of these little openings to his uh, to his little cannon here. Uh, and then I might change his uh, his torso a little bit and uh, possibly uh, make him have him give him a little bit different stance. So um, let's see. Uh, but first, let me uh, let me jump in the chat, man. I, I did see your comment, Steve. Hey, what's up, bro? Thanks for coming. I appreciate it, man. If you want a link, just uh, let me know you got time, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll throw a link your way, man. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna draw a little bit more today. Um, and yeah, so I mean, I'm doing my own interpretation of Cyborg. Let me uh, let me take this out of here real quick. Uh, remove. I'm doing my own interpretation of Cyborg. Uh, just sort of taking you know, certain aspects of the character, because he's one of the, one of the characters in the Justice League that uh, doesn't have a definitive uh, look. He doesn't have a definitive look. So uh, there's many different iterations, interpretations. It's kind of similar with Batman, either as long as short ears or whatever. But the main thing about uh, like Cyborg is that his face is cut in half pretty much. It's not, it's not symmetrical. It's asymmetrical, uh, meaning that it's, it's not perfectly, you know, like, uh, like two face, uh, where it's straight down the middle and then everything on the left of the characters this way and everything on the right of the characters this way. Some interpretations have him completely covered with uh, electronics. Some people, uh, some people draw him with, uh, a lot more skin. Uh, it just depends. It depends on, on what type of, uh, catastrophe or trauma they put uh victor through uh but anyway so yeah let me uh let me send you a link sir copy clipboard let me just jump over but i appreciate you being here man uh let's see let's see let's see uh i saw some news it wasn't really news somebody wrote an article about superman or whatever and it was kind of ridiculous and and it, because it was ridiculous i did not pay it much mind uh, they were talking about um, the uh, the Man of Steel movie. Where are you, Steve? Uh, the uh, the Man of Steel movie and how it was um, too close. There you are, uh, too close to, uh, to to home. He was too relatable of a character, and there's there's been other reports where it's unrelatable. You know, you can't relate to to the Chris Reeve version or whatever. You can't relate to you know uh, just Superman in general from the comics and. I don't know. It's, I think it's just, you know, people wanting to talk about something because, I mean, it's what it came out in what, 2013. So it's like, why would you even write an article or anything about that today? Like, who gives a shit about what you have to say, dude? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's an old movie, like move on, you know, find something else to, to occupy your time with, you know, give me, give me something relevant, you know I mean? You know, there, there's so many more things that you could, that you could talk about, but, but yet you, bring up an old movie and, and want to uh, put your spin on or whatever. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's negative and, and, um, and you're just doing it for clicks. So I don't know the person's name. I'm not going to give them credit because I don't care. Um, you know, you can listen to those types of uh, morons if you want. Um, the thing is, is that I just like today, I didn't engage because I don't care. And uh, the best thing to do is to not engage people. You engage people, they're going to keep giving you more and more of that type of content because they think that, oh, hey, look, somebody's listening to me. Somebody's listening to my ramblings. Um, and and uh, you don't really give them a platform, but you give them traffic. And that's what they want. They want traffic. And it's like, whatever. Uh, but anyway, so uh, okie dokie. Uh, without further ado, Mr. Okie dokie is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> what's up man how's it going oh I... your flasher what is uh oh it's uh remember this one you can't save oh, the world yeah. alone yeah there you go does it go all back the way to the, the floor uh, with all the other symbols you know <laughs> back uh back in the old days right yeah 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 <laughs> before and how you been so... i haven't talked to you in, in a minute 
oh you know i'm still still listening to people still doing this you know it's like oh, okay yeah that's nice yeah 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 <laughs> that's good hey that's 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 awesome that's awesome all man. you can do you can listen but then so the problem is that when you start listening then it's like hmm, they start making sense and then there's a problem there. oh yeah yeah definitely <laughs> definitely you you don't want to the the best thing to do and this is how i've always felt is not necessarily get yourself in an echo chamber to where everyone has a, a similar idea. You want someone else that has some opposing view so that, you know, you can check yourself as you're talking with them, as you're conversing, you know, it's just like, you know, that's why I, I like being a part of, you know, the full four nerd thing or whatever, because I agree with some of the things that Anthony says. I agree with some of the things that, that uh, Andre says, and I agree with a little bit of what, you know, Dawson says, but we all have discourse. We all don't agree on every single thing. So it's, it's good to have those kind of, you know, that kind of chat, you know, mm. then you can say, but, I disagree. I dis Yeah, man. We, yeah. we, uh, we had that for bad. a bit. Uh, yeah. that was, uh, that was one of our first, I don't want to say memes, but it was just one of our first drops and, mm -hmm. uh, and it was fun. It was, it was a good time. And, uh, and that was the whole point of it. Like, you know, same thing with, uh, with Syl and, and with, uh, with Joseph is that, there were things that I agreed with and there were things that I just, I, I didn't, and I, it's still the same, you know, I, you know, talking to, uh, talking to them now, you know, there are things that we're listening to them now. Uh, there are things that I agree and things that I disagree with, you know, and that's, and that's fine. That's, that's fine. okay. You know, who, who gives a shit <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, who cares? At the end of the day, um, it's like, it's not gonna it's not gonna pay the bills like it's oh not no. gonna pay the bills man it's the not gonna pay the bills. not gonna pay my bills well maybe it might depending so one thing uh, get, so. yeah yeah well uh, hey there's no super chats on this channel buddy no 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 we don't you're not gonna disney chats. plus me um, <laughs> oh, oh my god <laughs> speaking of disney plus you know uh, the one thing i've been watching on that on that whole thing you've been watching disney plus i haven't watched them in so long but uh, I do watch. I haven't seen the final episode of What If, um, and I don't. I don't like that. I'm. I'm erasing this. this uh, uh, I'm actually, actually going to erase the whole arm. I've basically on Disney mm. Plus. I've just basically just watching Golden Girls all the time. Golden Girls. <laughs> yeah, because oh, it's man, all you know. Uh, that's this one thing I, I can show. say that uh, that Dawson is our Dorothy. So. Is he? No. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Dawson? yeah. No, Dawson I'm is more of, of a, a... I'm more of a Blanche. Or, or you definitely are. Yes, you yeah. are. <laughs> no, no, I said um, Dawson is more of a... He's more of a Rose, I would say. Hmm. Don't you agree? Why would you say that? I would have I thought know, Rose would be more like, like like Andre. No, no. Andre is Rose. No, no, no. No, give, give uh, no, no, no. Okay. If, if if Dawson is not Dorothy, then Dawson is certainly Ethel. No, you need no. I would say you're more, um, you're more Sophia. You're more uh, like thing. The, okay. The mom, Estelle. Yeah. I say Estelle, yeah. You're, yeah. Yeah. You're more uh, like Estelle. And uh, but yeah, I would say Dawson is definitely Rose <laughs> because like because okay. Rose is more like good natured and. Always sees the good in everything. That's All right. more Dawson, and and also, uh, okay, I guess more naive to it. I guess, which is not bad. That's not a bad thing. Um. Sh oh, you know what? That that definitely does sound more like uh, right. Our good buddy, and, uh, uh, who I think he's streaming now. I, I know that he's. I think he he's doing a, a let's draw. Um, I I don't mm -hmm. know if that's still going on, but guys, you know, uh, definitely go over and, and check out. Uh, Dawson and uh, hit him up, say what's up, and then come right back over here. Um, yeah. just say hey and then come back. <laughs> say hey, Dude, come and back to like, the better. Hey, what's going on? Where, where'd you go? <laughs> um, come, come back to the better artist. But no, no, no. He he's he's a good artist, man. <laughs> no, good artist. Uh, and if I were if I were his caliber of art artist, um, I would be I'd be stoked. Uh, because he's he's a good guy, he, he has a lot to learn, uh, but he he does from what I've seen. In his artwork, he does learn pretty quickly. You know, he's he's very good at, at uh, adapting. Um, and uh, let's see, I probably want to put but, that. But the thing about like Dawson's art, as know, is like he does have a style. You know that. Okay, it, this is it, a... it started off a little bit like King of the Hill, as far yeah, as his, his yeah. artwork. You know, his style. So mm. uh, it was it was very much 
uh, King of the Hill esque, uh, in that it it was very simplistic, uh, very simple lines and things like that. Uh, and then and then he sort of took he sort of got out of that a little bit, and he wanted to m- go more uh comic book and so he started you know doing a lot of cross hatching and things like that and yeah trying to learn that and he's still kind of you know trying to get that you know hey what's up sickness hey. uh, i don't have the clip but yeah <laughs> <That was good>. <laughs> <laughs> open uh, yeah, up your know. hate and let it come into me <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know what what band is that slipknot no no what that's it that? oh my gosh that's come on place. come on that's i don't disturbed. know i don't know i don't know oh you should know this is yeah this is disturb yeah it's who is disturbed yeah disturbed yeah oh, okay i'm not i'm that not was familiar their... with i'm not familiar with that uh oh, not not into the whole metal scene alternative scene man you know i quit listening to stuff when uh i i just i i've, I've gotten real jaded by uh, a lot of musicians and stuff if... like that like i i have my own guitar i know how to play i used to you know uh play with a lot yeah. of guys and, and do some stuff and whatever and our goal of course you know back then was to um to make it and whatever and uh and some of the guys did get a little further but you know that was that was kind of it and i was just like okay well i'm done um (laughs) so this this is it for me this is it for me man you know and one of the things that will do that uh for you not to you but for you is uh is children when you uh that's true yeah Yeah. man when you when you make that that commitment you know it's just like dude you're your life is pretty much over uh, mm-hmm. as far as like not over well, uh, over as far as like, you know, thinking self first. Right. Well, yeah. You have more so, you have more priorities. Right. Um, yeah. Unless, your priorities shift yeah. and and you're like, yeah, you know what? Um, I, I've got to make sure that mm-hmm. I do right by, you know, who I've got. And uh, and so yeah, so that's. But then uh, you can teach your kids how to play, and then it's like okay, we can. You know what? And that was one of the coolest. That's that's actually what I would recommend to anybody is man, get your you know get your kids into the things that you like. Therefore, I mean they're your core fan base right there, you know. And I'm you know I mean they're like gung ho, you know. Hey, whatever dad likes, let's go. Uh, And um, so yeah, I mean I, I I definitely like you know I mean that that's why my son he's you know he streams with me he doesn't stream with me all that much anymore because you know he's got school and and uh oh right oh, yeah, yeah. And true, stuff true. like that but um i mean you know i can always like we went to venom right we yeah. saw venom with him you know he he liked it you know he had some some issues with it and i had some you know of course everybody has you know issues so so what were you, what's your plus? initial thoughts about venom uh better than the first one. Oh yeah yeah as far as like i can i could probably rewatch venom 2 and and I would and I might even I might even purchase it, you know, because I mean for me it's like uh, it, it, a movie is good if I decide, you know what, it's worth the it's worth my money to go to the store and say mm-hmm. let's let's you know let's go. I'm going to watch this more than once. Yeah, you know, it's it's more than a one time experience. With like you know other movies uh, that have come and gone, you know, I'll watch them twice. I haven't seen Venom twice yet, but um, mm-hmm. but when I do, you know, I'll I'll probably pick it apart a little bit more, but. Uh, that's, you know, that's, that's just kind of how I roll. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's, it's a good exercise, uh, because not everything is going to be palatable. Not everything is going to be like, oh yeah, you know, this was, yeah um, you know, th- this was flawless. This is a flawless film, whatever, you no, know. Le- everything has flaws and even like, uh, dare I say Zack Snyder's Justice League. Or- <laughs> there, there are things in Zack Snyder's Justice League that I, I wasn't a fan of, you know, uh, I think it's and, either, and like, I, I'm choices. okay with, uh, yeah. with 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 you know with sort of letting that out. It's fine. It's it, you know it's not sacrilege to not uh, yeah. you know not say hey you know what this particular choice like case in in, in point which some people like um, <laughs> Zebra Borg. What's up, <laughs> Doctor Fate? Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, having kids can put a halt on dreams uh, and priorities change quick. That's correct, and that's why it's taken me so long to get back to drawing for myself as far as like, you know, as a hobby uh, and, and actually working on my, uh, my little comic book. Uh, and I was like, you know, cause I mean, that's just something that I was, I always wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I, I had done the whole, you know, fan film thing and, and whatever. And that was, that was back when I was in my early twenties, I was like yeah. gung ho ready to go or whatever. 
And, and I was juggling with the kids and all that. And I was like, dude, I just, I can't, I can't keep this up. This is, uh, well, you never it, know. It, like sometimes like with kids, uh, I know like some actor friends of mine who have kids and they, it gives them a bigger urge to keep pushing on. Like, yeah, it's difficult. And like, it def- yeah, the priorities are there and everything. Yeah. But they also understand like, no, I'm, this is a career of mine. And this is also my job too. Sure. And, and that's sure. another thing. Like I, you know, it's, I always get asked, like, oh, you it's like, so you do it full time, like with acting. And it's like, well, the truth for like with anything with the arts, it's it's mostly like in how, how many gigs you get, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, that's and, right. that's and that's right. the thing like people don't understand is like it's about it's about how many gigs. It's about like all the gigs you receive and whatnot. And sometimes you can go like a month or two months without getting yeah. anything at all. And then the next, like, for instance, my past month in september and even this month i'm so busy like every weekend and That's- every day along with my like regular like my nine to five job and it's just like where's the time right and sure and that's the thing is like so so acting yeah it is full-time but some some periods of time it it doesn't become full-time and whatnot yeah. and even would say anything so i think uh when you get into the arts, you got to look at it. Yeah, you got to accept and be proud to say, yeah, I do it full time. And it's not it's not a hobby unless it, it is a hobby for you. Yeah, it's where not a hobby unless it is. Yeah, and where it's like to the point where it's like, I'm just doing this for fun. I'm mm-hmm. just or making streams for fun. I can like, do well, that's, whatever. Well, that's what the streaming yeah. is, you know, for me. It's, yeah. it's, it's just for fun. It's not, you know, uh, a means to, you know, Hey, I'd love to do this full time. Like some people yeah. have these, these weird expectations. Like when I first started YouTube way back in the day, back before mm-hmm. it was anything, right. I had my yeah. YouTube channel, this, this channel here, I've had it since Oh one or Oh two. Oh, what? yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah that's right. I say, do I even care about the Batgirl movie? Well, it's not a Batgirl movie. It's going to be a Batman, uh, a Batgirl. Oh, I mean, it could be, still be a movie, um, but it's 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 an HBO uh, Max exclusive. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's going to have that kind of release or whatever. Uh, am series, I right? excited about it? Uh, do I care about it? Uh, I'll watch it. I'll watch mm-hmm. it. That's that's all I can say about that. I can't. Yeah. I can't really say anything else because I mean, other than JK Simmons being a part of it, I mean, there's really nothing, uh, nothing more. Oh well, yeah. Who's like, JK? He's a, something a little bit commissioner more Gordon. Huh? He's commissioner Gordon. He's JK? commissioner Gordon. He's coming back in. He's doing his little thing. And so with that, um, let's see, let's see, let's, let's do something a little bit like this. It's funny. I think, uh, the directors for that just finished off Miss um, Marvel. Yeah, I, I think there's multiple directors. Uh, yeah, there was the two. To, They're the two uh, guys who did um, Bad Boys for Life. Oh no! Okay. What you know? I, have, I really like because like as in, uh, I think the other Bad Boys for Life were better. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the other Bad Boy films were better. Yeah, uh, they were done by um, what do you call them? Bay. Uh, yeah, with Old Michael Bay. Bay. And then he was like, "No, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm, I'm I'm gonna go do tr- Transformers, and there's nothing you can do to stop me." Uh, <laughs> and then so I'm going to I'm going to show you the, what uh, blockbuster movie making. Is I'm all gonna about. show you yeah, exactly. This it's like he's he's like uh, I'm gonna make this thing, and everybody's gonna love it, and uh, and then uh, I'm gonna release it and let everybody else take, take. No, I'm not going to release it and let anybody mm-hmm. else. Okay, I'm going to keep it for myself and. And uh, I'm gonna make Bumblebee uh, talk through his radio for uh, forever. And so, exactly, man. <laughs> which, it, which is, uh, I, I have to admit, it's it was a very smart and sneaky way to add it, in all these like pop songs. It everything. was no, 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 it, it, dude. I, I'm I'm gonna tell you for Transformers One. Yeah. It was very clever, mm. and it was entertaining. Beyond that, for the other films, beyond that. It was like they didn't. It was a, it was like it was a gimmick that they could not stop. They yeah, that's the thing. they yeah. just they were like, no, no, you know what? We're we're doubling down. We're 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 doubling down. We're gonna do this forever. And well, uh, that's the thing about like with gimmicks, right? Like uh, when you commit to like a certain thing with some characters, then you really 
it almost has to stick with that because that's what the audience expects and you want to try something new then it it, it, yeah, it might not be it might not yeah. be palatable to the audience and so mm -hmm. I, I understand that but the thing is is that like at the end the expectation was it was kind of weird but the expectation was that uh you know the um that british voice that he had was going to be his voice and that was you know that was him mm -hmm. and so it was like okay well so now we know what you sound like we get it you know it's all good um uh let's uh let's go and and continue or whatever <laughs> but then it was like it was like you know you you start that second movie and and, and Rhett's just like i don't i don't know what the fuck happened i'm not really i'm not really good at my job <laughs> you know uh but uh yeah, I mean, it was just I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't too impressed with that. Let's see. I know. But I personally, uh, uh, except for obviously like the second one, it's cliche. But I personally enjoyed those Transformers movies because like oh, to yeah? me, that's the perfect definition of big popcorn movies. Uh huh. And and I don't think you should look at it more than just that. He, because like yeah. I, yeah, I was like, there are things in the cartoon, and also um, like friendship and Autobots, Decepticons, and everything as such. Mm -hmm. But when you break down to it, there you don't need to overcomplicate Transformers. Some yeah. of the things they did, <laughs> it's like uh, the timeline of these movies is like okay, that's a uh, you may have to <laughs> you may have to pull a. Uh, <laughs> May have to ask uh, the the watchtowers like, okay, hey Jeffrey, the like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, what's uh, what's happening here, man? Yeah, do you know the timeline? Yeah, of course pictures. we do. Of course we do. And they're like, so, wait a second, uh, let me tell you. Have Leonard Nimoy shall play? No, <laughs> <laughs> not him. like. Uh, okay, so you're gonna. I don't know. That was just one of the things. It was it was cool to to, to know that they had Leonard back, yeah. but then they changed his his character, his part, and whatever. And I was he like, was uh, a Sentinel he was Sentinel Prime. He yeah. was the Fallen. Yeah, right. He was the Fallen. But that that third movie, I look at it as two halves. You have the original. You have everything prior to the Battle of Chicago, and you have the Battle oh, of in the third film. Yeah, the third movie. I so I, I just I just look at it as uh, two separate movies. Okay. And when I feel like the need to watch it, I just, just go straight to the Battle of Chicago. I don't, oh, okay. I don't, okay. I don't go yeah. in like everything before that. Because well, that's everything they did with, with Megatron for me was just like what? You know, I, I I didn't get it as far as mm -hmm. uh so he came out, he was a jet, then he came out, he was um, tank, another type yeah. of jet, or, or yeah. you know, the, it became the tank thing, and then he became uh, a truck to match auto, you know, the uh, yeah. Optimus Tr Prime, and then he became something else. And it's just like, okay, fine, you know. So, so we we don't know what he is and and whatever. Yeah, and it was cool changing, that they got man. Welker, and uh, I didn't really mind um, uh, what's his name from Rivendell or whatever. Um, who is he? God dang, it. the uh, the Elf King guy. Um, oh, Hugh, yeah, yeah. Hugh, uh, Hugo uh, Weaving, Hugo, Hugo Weaving. Weaving, right? Yeah. Right, I, I didn't mind him as, as uh, Megatron, I mm. liked Frank Welker, you know. I've, I'm always a you know, Frank Welker kind of guy, uh, because you know, I grew up on that, that, uh, uh, that on that voice stuff, of, um, yeah, yeah the voice, the, uh, the original voice. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I did like it, I was I'm down with that, but I, I just I don't know. I mean, what they did with Frenzy, I was like, he looks stupid. He looked like freaking Johnny Five from from Short Circuit. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not down with that. that the looks... thing about like these designs with the Autobots and Decepticons is that they they made it too too, too alien, real. too alien, and too real in the aspect of the the height. The height, the right, right, right. The, the the thing is, is that like for me. If I were working at ILM or whatever, I would say, you know what? These things can transform, but they can also compact. Yeah. yeah. You know, they don't have to be, uh, you, you know, like, you know, if he's an F-22 Raptor, he doesn't have to be super huge, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and they're like, okay, well, you know, here it is for, you know, Soundwave. Soundwave's this big blob in space, you know, with tentacles yeah. and, and all that. And I'm like, 
he doesn't need to be that. You know, it, it's it, the fun about Transformers is knowing that, you know, these things can transform into anything that they want almost. And they don't really have to look for something completely comparable in size. Exactly. Uh, right. They do to an extent, uh, you know, when the robot went out and, and did that or whatever. Uh, they do to an extent, but it, it wasn't a. Oh, God, that's gross. Uh, it wasn't a. Um, oh. Mm. What do I want to say? It wasn't necessity. Yeah. That they uh, that they did that. So yeah. I think yeah, that's yeah, because uh. Yeah. Have you seen those new um, Transformers uh, Siege of Cybertron figures? Uh no 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 no. I so I just I got uh, I just bought the Wheeljack one. And, oh nice. And even like even when you. When you compare like the figures, the size, the sizes uh, of like that one, and even some of the other Autobots yeah. and Decepticons, when you transform, when you transform Wheeljack into his car mode, it's like, wow, this is, it's cool. Yeah. And see is like, oh, it's comparatively small, <laughs> smaller than. Uh, <laughs> he than some he, of the he other is. Figures. He's like this. He's like this little insignificant, uh, uh, you know, character mm -hmm. amongst these giants. You know. Yeah. And that's and, uh, why sometimes with the movies, uh, with the Bay movies, is that it's sort of unfair because you got the Decepticons. They're these big, huge, like, robots compared to the Autobots, right? Oh, yes. They're, because they're of the size enormous. comparison, yeah. And then, so so then they're like, well, we have to have something comparable. So let's let's give them Barricade. He's a yeah. car, you know, and but he's a construct, he's a, a Combaticon or whatever, or, mm. or Stunticon. He's a Stunticon. And uh, and it's like okay, so you're 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 giving me that, all right, great, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, I don't know. It's just to me, that's it just, why it wasn't. I, I just I didn't. Those are the those are the choices that I just didn't like. I was like, I did like him. I liked his character, and he he was yeah. very vicious and and uh, rightfully so. But yeah, I mean, I, I was just like, okay, wh wh what are we? What, what are we doing here? You know, how, how is this, how is this something that I want to see? I don't know. I just, I, ha I had certain issues with that. That's why like Optimus was the most vicious <laughs> out of all of them, out of all the Decepticons, out of the Autobots. <laughs> he, he, uh, he, he definitely was. He definitely yeah. Was. Right. Like he had, he basically <laughs> threw down, he, he took out everyone. Because it's he had crazy. to. Yeah. Cause he was yeah. the only one who can like actually stop everything. Yeah. Yeah, it was like it was like let's just get Optimus in there, <laughs> you know. Like, like uh, okay, okay. Um, it's, it's almost like Optimus was too OP because when he came in, it's like that's it, forget it. He just the yeah, Optimus yeah, no, fatalities I, I get... all Fatality. over. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's like damn Optimus, like he's dead already. Behave, Optimus. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, no, he was always like super. You know, super awesome, and he he'd come in with his sword and shield or whatever, and he would just you know save the day and and all that. Mm. And it's like, okay, thanks. Um, so these other Autobots are kind of useless. I uh, okay, I got gotcha. you, got gotcha. you. Yeah, uh, they are not uh, necessarily needed. Okay, I understand. You know, <laughs> I know. Bumblebee did something. Yeah, but... I mean, you know, they 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 didn't do what what they they could have done with the series and mm. uh they just went for like cheap uh, just a cheap grab cash grab for you know uh for them so yeah i mean i, I just i wasn't really wasn't really into it uh we, we get, needed a cyborg movie uh yeah do. i mean be, we still need a cyborg movie um no, you have it in zach sanders justice yeah you, you do you do it, and and he does have a considerably large role in that particular movie uh, so you do get uh, a, a sizable chunk of uh, what a cyborg centric, you know, cyborg mm -hmm. solo movie would look like, um, and I think it would have been fantastic. I think it would have, it could have been great, but uh, uh, that's that's not what uh, what they want that's to give cards, us. Yeah. It's not in the cards, it's, uh, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, the the thing is, is that like. Uh, and and let me get your take on this. Uh, uh -oh, what do you think uh -oh. about the the recent stuff with or concerning the um, uh, the uh, what do you call it the the air cut 
you know, a lot of speculation. Oh, that that, yeah, that that thing is is maybe <laughs> finally thing, going to possibly or not come out. We're not for, we're not really sure. Well, a certain uh, well then a certain someone <laughs> who I know. Oh, says that, well, I think everybody knows. <laughs> I don't, I don't know uh, everybody. He says that it's coming out or it's going to be announced at whatever at uh, oh so so the okay. event I, I that's happening this weekend. And that then, is happening this weekend. Um, and, uh, David keeps uh, I see Andre keeps posting that oh David's posting all these cryptic messages on uh, Instagram when really it's all just inspirational stuff that David just posts all the time. It doesn't mean anything, you know. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> It doesn't then, mean uh, anything. There was something that came out. I want to say yeah, today, for, uh, um, for T on Monday no, was um, Indigenous um, People's Day, and uh, I don't know whether uh, it's like you know good for WB or is it like really this is what you promote <laughs> for <Indigenous people? laughs> like I know it's Adam Beach and everything. Yeah, that's important. Uh -huh. But Adam is also a Canadian Indigenous. <laughs> We had ours a couple of weeks ago and everything, okay. Reconciliation Day. You couldn't now, make a the, post about the, that. The day but, that I you know. really like is the Dungeness Day because then you can go out and eat crabs. So then you have that. And yeah. it's like, you know what, man? I always said, uh, well, I always said release the haircut because, you know, sure. I like to see what we worked on, obviously. Right, right. And, uh, and we had, um, I don't know if, it's okay to say here, but RT Snyder cut that account. We had a table talk where I was part of with Tim Tap and some other folks. Okay. And I, you know, for us who are invested or who have fought for Snyder's version, like Snyder, the Snyder cut to come out, which is out obviously. And this whole thing here and there, mm -hmm. the air cut, that cut specifically completes the entire saga the saga can continue but if you want the actual complete saga yeah the complete snyder superman saga well that's the erica too because the suicide squad come out are only formed because of superman's death right uh yeah and they they did they did make a, a mention yeah. of, of superman's death in mm -hmm. it so it was relevant you know it it, it definitely did play so a, his, uh, yeah so his death part, is yeah. is very important his death is what causes this and and again it it's in line with everything with the snyder cut and everything that yeah. they put forward so the air cut is to complete the entire saga so you have the full five film saga of mos bbs mm -hmm. wonder woman air yeah. cut and snyder cut so i think uh no matter what people in WB or whoever's making decisions, whether they want to restore the Snyderverse or anything like that. Take that out of the equation. Yeah. We would just like to have the complete saga. At least give us the complete saga. Sure, and sure, we'll sure. just go from there. So, well, yeah, no, I agree. I mean, that that would be cool. Uh, just, just to have it. Just say, hey, you know what? I'm, yeah. Uh, you know, we, we've worked on X, Y, and Z. And yeah. uh, and we would definitely love to have our, you know, our version out there as well as you know, because I mean, you do see that there, you know, there is a uh, a very good response from the yeah. people that get to see, you know, the uh, uh, the Snyder cuts. So, I mean, you know, hopefully, hopefully this thing can get its day in the sun as well. And and it's not hurting anyone. I mean, it's there. It's not. Like, yeah. It's, if you just put it out, it's more. It's more money. It's, it's more. It is more money. It is well. more. It is more money. It is more content. The only yeah. negative for them would be if if people see it, and then there there's a big huge clamoring for more of that, and they're not prepared for or not prepared. They're not willing to give you more of what people want. But they there's have their also own the ideas. Like people, yeah, there's yeah. also the fact that people, even with the Snyder Cut, are like coming out and saying, "Why didn't you?" Uh, why didn't you release this and the whole uh, the whole debacles and what mm -hmm. they did to Snyder and what they did to Zach and everything like taking advantage of him it's like yeah like there goes that yeah now, with David so want to keep it quiet then there's no reason to yeah release. it does bring out dirty laundry and everything but yeah. with David's case I've, I've always said it like David's case sadly it's 
it's a it's a sad normalcy when it comes to filmmaking or even anything yeah. what you do because you know you are playing with executives money right yes and even i've had to go through this so many times as well even on indie films and smaller scale stuff you're playing with like the executives money and someone else and a higher and I they're not really willing to to, yeah. Yeah, to to make that gamble sometimes, you know? Yes. They, uh, you, even if the, you think the writing is on the wall and it's like, oh, this is a mm-hmm. slam dunk, you know, uh, you know, how come they can't just get their act? It's it's because again, you know, you're you're playing with, with their money and they're not willing to 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 ante up, they're not willing to double down, yeah. they're not willing to say, you know what, yeah, you know, let's let's take the chance. <laughs> And, you know. and also, you have to, we have to understand that, like, you know, we have to, every, we want to make sure that people see it, right? And sure. You, but the thing yeah. is that you never know until you put it out there. And you always <clears throat> got to trust your creator's vision mm-hmm. and because you signed off on it. But sometimes, sure. you know, you, you come to realize maybe uh, we signed off a little too much. Maybe a <laughs> case uh, in it's, point. It's- the yeah, I mean, suicide squad is possible <laughs> right? uh, the suicide squad yeah, yeah and, um, and so it what would be more amusing for me is if like you know they come out and they're like you know hey uh let's go with another suicide squad we're, we're just going to call it a suicide squad <laughs> <laughs> and it's a completely different team with a completely different director uh hey noel said Mar- martin says hey guys what's up noel oh, hello. katsuka's in the house hey mr Jube. uh my gentleman and uh and steve my boy, my boy. <laughs> my, I, I I read what I see. I feel like I feel like the anger man. Like <laughs> and <laughs> my boy. <laughs> um, oh, greedy bastards! Says, yes, anyway, uh, they're greedy bastards people. anyway. I'm done with DC. The presidents are reptiles <laughs> and right. life forms across the right. planets. Uh, their species live in Middle Earth or the middle of the Earth. Sorry, who Middle Earth? Um, go deep, Mr. West Ashley. Every <laughs> every week, <laughs> go deep episode. You'll find it. Oh, for uh, for lizard people. <laughs> well, yeah, man. Every, of course. Um, you know the, the I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about they, lizard. they live. It's true, man. Are uh, you Coleman talking about like the movie, like uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth, or whatever? Is that what you? Oh, shit. Is that what you're well, talking also, about? Um, remember that cartoon, uh, Conan the Adventurer. Back in the Shit. day, you remember Superman the cartoon? They had oh, the they Fleischer had... one. Uh, yes, that was really awesome. Um, it had, it had a, uh, there was a race of uh, uh, reptile men or whatever it was, you know, they did that, so that was cool. Yeah. I liked it, I thought it was uh, Conan, I mean, it's great. Conan the Adventure was back. the best cartoon, especially if you're a whole conspiracy theorist, because he had Conan. In the Hyborian Age, and he has the uh-huh. sword with the metal that came from space. So the whole okay. deal was that they knew that all of um, the Hyborian, um, all of uh, the entire world was run by the snake people. Oh, by yeah? The Seth cult. But to figure it out, because they're all in disguise as humans, so to figure out how he used the metal from the sword to reveal their true selves, which were the snake, the reptile snake people. Now imagine oh, wow. you, <laughs> if you're a conspiracy theorist, watching this show is like, yes, this is spoken to me. I need to seek this medal to find <laughs> the, those in the reptile people in charge who came from space, <laughs> who <They're> taken over <laughs> us as slaves. Oh, the ultimate man. cartoon was conspiracy, folks. Conan well, David. okay. So uh, the one thing I that I'm not a fan of is is the whole slight on conspiracy theories as mm-hmm. far as like just just saying oh you're you know you're a conspiracy person or theorist or whatever right. but the one thing that's true and has always been true is that people do conspire yes and uh and they do you know can, whether it's in the workplace or you know people you know say hey you know what we need to get this person fired or whatever it is oh, yeah, yeah. there's there are conspiracies and for someone to just nonchalantly say, "Oh, you conspiracy theorists or whatever," the thing is, is that you know, back back in the day when I used to do my deep thoughts, um, it, it was one of the things was like, you know, hey, uh, the issue is not so much a conspiracy theorist or anything like that. The problem is, is that people want to label people, mm-hmm. and they feel like they can label you, compartmentalize you, and then place you into a file cabinet 
never to be thought of again because they have made their decision about whatever it is that you they think about you because you've said some some I want to say trigger word uh, that says oh you since you said this that means you mean this or or whatever it is and it's like okay that's very dismissive and uh, and therefore no one can learn from that if there is something to be learned. Uh, because they have closed their mind to it, and so therefore it is uh, no longer in uh, in their reality, in their existence, and they've moved on to other things to occupy their mind. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I am. Uh, so my version of cyborg is just sort of like I, like I was saying earlier at the beginning of the broadcast is that there's no one definitive, you know. Yeah. Um, version of cyborg you know every artist has their own sort of interpretation of him they take certain things that they like that they've seen uh and they just sort of incorporate that in, into their overall drawings uh of him whether he's got you know uh more human parts or more you know robotic parts or whatever you know this is for lack of a uh you know another term this is just sort of the, the interpretation that i'm going with which is just certain things that I like about it, and I, I really don't have a um, a definitive uh, uh, goal for how I think I, he should look. Uh, this is just sort of uh, uh, sort of organic, uh, in that you know I'm just sort of kind of going through this and saying, okay, you know, this works, this doesn't work, whatever. Um, yeah, I started sketching some cyborg too. I I'm taking a more Robocop. Like uh, uh, let's uh, let's say, let's blow you up. Hold up right here. Oh. Boop. Blow up like the solo world. layout. Okay, so if you can see, you notice like nice. it made it more bulkier. Like this is just like rough ideas and sketches. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But, nice sketch. But I'm adding. Um, I'm trying to make it more. Um, yeah, taking the more Robocop approach, but mm -hmm. adding all these like. He's almost like put together with wires and everything. He's not like sleek, hold right? <laughs> oh, there. hold on, hold on. I thought I there we go. No, yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, uh, trying to make Cyborg one. like not sleek as he is in the in the animated series and everything. Yeah, well, um, like how I like you see scene. I liked his interpretation or the interpretation of Cyborg back in the eighties mm -hmm. when he was first introduced. He was just he was it was sort of a white outfit. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and it was, uh, met with, you know, skin tone and all that. And, and he always had that one eye that was missing or whatever. Uh, that's always, that's been a staple. So like you draw a cyborg, you know, he's got to be missing his left eye. Hmm. That's, that's just, that's, that's it. Um, let's see. But yeah, I mean, everything else like, you know, arm cannon and stuff like that, you know, I mean, the way that, uh, that Zach and, um, and and that team took cyborg was just like okay you know what this this cat's not not human we can't yeah that's I, alien, I, right? I think he yeah. i think he just is because it's just alien i think they just went and they were like you know what let's not let's not even bother ourselves with um trying to make him you know have any human tissue or whatever so with it we don't we can go we can we can push the envelope a little bit as far as like aesthetics uh mm -hmm. you know to whatever you know and, and it and you know it'll work so yeah it's, it's, it's very much like a base uh transformers right like it's very alien yeah and very um you see all like the moving parts and everything there's so many articulations in it yeah and and even like i just um i'm almost completed the um the mcfarland uh snyder cut set Oh yeah! Like, when you look at both cyborgs and when you look at the body of it, it's like, Not damn, this that. There's so much going on in this thing. There, there is. There's a lot of detail. That, I mean, they they could have gone simplistic, and it probably would have been yeah. a lot quicker, easier for them to just, you know, hey, render this and and uh, oh, okay, this is what it looks like or whatever. Uh, I'll probably put it there then. Okay. Um. And yeah, so I mean, it, it, it you know. But they went he, same thing with like Steppenwolf, you know. They, right, they really yeah. went with like this overly uh, uh, integral design, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, you really didn't need to do it. I mean, it's awesome that you did. She didn't really need to. You didn't need to, but you know what? It's like it. it, it well, the thing is, is that it, it like it paid off. Yeah. You know the. Uh, uh, I don't like that. 
uh, the 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 look you know was was an easier sell uh, because it was like wow he's he's not only just alien the only thing I, I I never really got or understood or whatever was the the hands uh, and how his his skeletal structure was different from um, from dark side right and they're right. they're supposed to be related and mm-hmm. so they're the same species or same you know whatever and uh, and, and it's the same with uh, uh, with uh, what's his name. Um, the uh, what was that guy's Desad? His right, hands yeah. were sort of like like uh, Steppenwolf. So it's like, you know, what was going on with uh, with Dark Side? Um, mm-hmm. I think Dark Side is high. F- no, uh, no, Dark Side is related to to Steppenwolf. So they should have they should have uh, or share genealogy. Uh, so I ne- I didn't really understand that. Um, and but I, I I do understand it in that. Orion is dark side son and he would, he's more human like or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, then it just goes back for me like, well then what's going on with step. Uh, Cause in the comics he's human like as well, but you yeah. know, they wanted to go alien. So I'm like, that's cool. You go alien. I don't mind that. But why was it that extreme? Well, yeah. Why would, yeah, exactly. yeah. And, and I, I still haven't uh, come across anything that says, Hey, you know what? This is a uh, definitive, uh, definitive answer. Um, I, I have one. I have one. It's the Zach answer. The because Zach cool. answer. Because, because it looks cool. cool. It because looks it looks cool. cool. I mean, you know, and that's cool. That's cool and too. That's I mean, cool. there, there's cool. been so many uh, situations where it's like, oh, hey, you know what? Something just looks cool. You know, don't don't question it. Kind of like you know the uh, uh, the hoverboard scene in you know Back to the Back Future Two or whatever. Uh, it's like, don't worry about how it works. It just it just works. Uh, yeah. And it's cool, and and so that's that's kind of it, you know. There's no, uh, there's nothing else to to really, uh, to really bother yourself with. Let me see. Exactly. Sometimes, great. like, if it looks cool, you know, just that's that's enough. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But yeah, no, it's just taking inspiration from different uh, from different things. But I uh, would go. Let me see. Um. Are you excited for Halloween? The new Halloween? Are you a fan uh, of the Halloween series? Oh, 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 you're talking about the the uh, the movie? I'm not or excited. Even, uh, even even go trick or treating, you know, no. I I don't do that. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, no. I love dressing up. You you should dress I up love like uh, dressing up, Dawson. But I <laughs> <laughs> or Andre. <laughs> or Andre. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> like, hey, you want to know how to spell writing? <laughs> <laughs> So you know what Anthony, David Ayer said? Yeah, you, know, you want to know what David Ayer said? So do I. I got scoops for you. Uh oh, uh oh, we're in the scoop oh. territory here. Oh no, no, um, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I don't, uh, uh, I don't want to dress up like Andre this year. Not this year. Oh, not, no, not perhaps this year. next year. Yeah, perhaps. Maybe for a cosplay contest. The there you go. Contest. Yeah, I'll dress up like one of the four nerds. Uh, oh yeah, I'll dress up like one of the four nerds. Unfortunately, be me. So <laughs> I like, Whoa. I'm gonna dress up like Zebra Fett. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Um, but yeah, so we have some exciting stuff about the channel that's about to happen. Uh, that uh, that Dawson kind of spilled the mm-hmm. beans on today. Uh, so uh, we are going to be uh, sort of adding on to the uh, the four nerds. Uh, so we'll we'll have some affiliates, and uh, that should be interesting. Oh, nice! So yeah, man, uh, just just new territory here, and yeah, that's it's it's it's, uh, it's pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. So pretty dope, pretty dope. Yeah. So he decided that his channel, and and we we talked about this a couple weeks ago, um, but yeah, he decided that you know, hey, he just things weren't. Uh, I want to say lining up uh, the way that uh, that he wanted to for his home hmm. life is you know for everything else and he was like yeah, yeah you know what let's just do this and uh, and it takes a lot of pressure off of him uh, this mm-hmm. way and everything so I'm just like you know what okay let's 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 give it a go let's give it a whirl yeah so man. we are we're we're definitely all excited to try this thing out and. Um, yeah, he, he said he's not going to be streaming as much, 
mm-hmm. uh, on, you know, just on the uh, on the on the network. But uh, he definitely uh, he's definitely going to be on on people's streams, and he's definitely going to be doing stuff. So, but uh, yeah, man, so we're just we're uh, we're shifting shifting a little bit, and uh, and we're going to sort of take over that channel because uh, hey, it does no, have but- a. Yeah life, gets, yeah, life uh, changes things, right? So life gets in the way sometimes, you know. Yeah. And like I said, you know, for this, for me, you know, this is just uh, no, I don't like that. Uh, it's just for fun, you know. I'm not mm-hmm. really, you know, in this for, uh, you know, anything other than just to like talk to people who like the stuff that I like. Yeah, exactly. um, and that's it, you know. Uh, I I don't want to grow it into something else. And and there's this. You know, and the one thing that I've sort of come across or whatever, you know, in just these fandoms or whatnot, you know, in, in, in doing YouTube is that there's a lot of um, uh, not I don't want to say politics, but there's a lot of uh, like if you stream with this person, I can't stream with this person. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do, this, I can't do that or. Or you know whatever it is, and it's just like, dude, that's not what I'm about. I I, mm-hmm. I don't care about your personal life. If if you're a decent person or whatever, or if you're you know a good individual, and or if you're just pleasant to talk to, man, I'm I'm down. Now, if you've done something you know completely horrible, you know, and and I can't overlook that, then that's one thing. But I mean, uh, if it's if it's something that um, that doesn't involve me, you know, that's none of my business. Yeah care it's that's that's my stance on it man you know hey I, I feel bad for anybody involved in in any sort of controversy or whatever it is but man you know just that's not what my channel has ever been and if you've ever watched my channel before you know that i don't ever discuss uh drama mm-hmm. no one can ever say hey you know what on this channel ryan has talked about x y and z and you know he's 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 bringing up drama. Save that don't. drama. Yeah, save the drama for for someone. For someone or else. your own mama. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, for man. my mama. <laughs> Not for my mama. Not for my mama. My mama. I know. What you say about my mama? There are certain um, viewpoints I can't hang with, like like telling me that Ghostbusters two is better than Ghostbusters one. Oh, I can't. Ghostbusters two? Oh no, I can't handle that. Better? Though. No. No, no it, yeah, no. There, there's no way that that could be even considered a a better film, uh, at all. I mean, screenplay, anything, any. Oh, sh- what did I do that for? Oh no. Uh, let me change this to that. Yes. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, it just what Ghostbusters Two is was a rehash of Ghostbusters One. It was, and uh, all they did was. They made certain changes here and there, but every but the the overall uh, um, movie, the pacing, everything is the exact same. Um, you know, they just they didn't have to create uh, the uh, uh, the Ghostbuster, you know, proton packs or anything this go around. You know, they already had it, uh, but you know they uh, watched but the they movie. Bobby Brown. What do I want to say? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> They had Bobby Brown. They they had Bobby Brown. They yes. had Bobby and Brown. That is uh, that's definitely. I don't that's know if that's a plus a... these days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if I was you and you was me, <laughs> I wouldn't be living. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if that if that's something that I would boast. Like, yo, I had Bobby Brown in my film. I don't know. Can I get one of those proton packs? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, but I will like, say that the Ghostbusters, the beginning of Ghostbusters two, I think it's some of the most brilliant stuff they did out of the entire series. Uh, the the beginning fact beginning that like okay, it's past, it's a couple years past of them saving New York. Yeah. You kind of run uh, down in the oh, luck and everything. Oh, you talking about the He-Man. Yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, these guys yeah, are doing yeah, 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 like yeah. birthday parties. Bankman's got his like stupid show. Yeah, they're all doing their own thing. They're off on their yeah. own, you know, uh, following their own dreams or whatever. Mm-hmm. And and that's I do like that. That's I think that's pretty. Uh, that's, that's the strongest stuff of part two, in my like for me. Yeah, that opening. Yeah, up until when they go to the courthouse. Actually, you know, and when they get back to ghost busting, that's the yeah. strongest part of the film. Yeah. 
no, I, I liked it. I mean, the same thing they had they had the Ghostbuster montage where they're they're running around yeah. town. That's what I hope I don't see in Afterlife. I don't want to see a montage where they're running around the little town and you know cleaning everything up. You know, like cleaning up the the little area or whatever i i just i hope that you know and i think that because it's it's jason and not ivan um it's going to have a different feel it's going to have a different uh uh a, a different feel about it you know and and so that's that's what i'm really hoping for is that maybe the son can you know can can complete what the father really couldn't that and that comes out this month right it should it should, unless it gets pushed back again due yeah, to you know goofball stuff in the world, um, <laughs> with with all these you know reptilian people, I guess. That's right. Um, <laughs> <Any pony. laughs> um, but yeah, so that that comes out this month. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to watch Ghostbusters three, uh, you can already do so. It's called Evolution. And it actually it does have Dan Aykroyd in it as well. That's the game, right? Uh, no, no, the game is actually awesome. The game's pretty good. Because yeah, because uh, uh, no, no, no. This uh, Evolution is actually a film from Ivan Reitman, uh, and he it's basically uh, the same exact formula as Ghostbusters, but with aliens. Oh yeah, yeah. That's with a uh, yeah. company, isn't it? Duchovny, yes, and yeah, uh, that's right. And then had uh, oh god, what's that girl's name from? Oh goodness, uh, she's like uh, what is she? She's uh, a it's redhead. Weird. We have the internet here. Yeah, we do, we do. And she, okay, I think evolution. she was also in that other that other movie. She okay. took uh, Jodie Foster's part. Um, who is and she? It's with, um... Who's the guy? Orlando Jones is in it. Oh, Julian yeah. Moore. Julian Moore. There you go. Yeah, Thank you. and uh, Stifler's um, in it too. Who? Stifler. Yes, yeah, Stifler yeah, is yeah. is the fourth guy. He's sort of yeah. the everyman. He was he's the Winston of the group. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I mean, you know, they they do, uh, they do, you know, have all that. But it's just like, okay, you know, um, it just it, it, it was the same movie. Like I said, it was the same. You know, they the thing happened you know it, it it follows the same exact pattern mm -hmm. and it was it was at that point when that movie came out i was like yo i i can't believe that i i mean i was so young i saw it i was like wow this that's the exact same setup as, as ghostbusters like why why is that and so you know i started seeing other movies like that and just sort of seeing patterns and right and, uh, in the sequels and stuff and i'm just like wow man they've been doing this for for a while mm -hmm. now you know yeah, it's like just... being you know being a young kid i i didn't really pay attention to that you know i was just like okay the ghostbusters formula like you get a bunch of like quirky scientists and they go they go off they have their adventure and you they follow bust. them on the adventure they 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 win at the end of the day and yeah and and yeah, that's it. That's you know, that's that's uh, that's all she wrote. And what's up, Nicotina? Hey, uh, that's the going uh, as you for Halloween. Halloween. What's up, man? How's it going? I don't know if you can join us. Send him a link. He said that uh, you know he 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 joined if he could, but uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we shall. He's getting his costume done. He's going as uh, he's getting his costume done. Ex yeah. You know, excellent. He's going as Fatal J. Oh. He's going as Fatal J. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I talked to Fatal J earlier. I invited him onto the uh, onto the stream, uh, but he's, um, uh, he's indisposed. But uh, if like if you do want to experience the, I guess the official third Ghostbusters movie, it's it's actually the PS2 well, the PS2 360 game. They yeah, and we we had that. We played that, and it was yeah. It's, it was it's really the third movie. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was good. I think it did. I think it still had Harold in it. Uh, yeah, that exactly. was the only thing the that I was. Cast. Yeah, that's the only thing that I just. It, I'm sort of salty with uh, with uh, Murray because he was holding out, and you know, and he didn't want to do a, a Ghostbusters three movie, and uh, and then you know Harold passed away, and I was like, oh okay, and then so he's like, yeah, I'll do the you know Ghostbusters 2016. Yeah, no problem. And I'm like, you're such a prick. Uh, so that kind of kind of rubbed me the but wrong Bill way. Bill is like, 
At times, he comes up very quickly, right? Yeah. That's the thing about like Bill. Like but I he, mean, I I I I love him. You know, I love him in uh, what's that one? The uh, Groundhog Day and all that. You know, I mean, he's a, yeah. He's when a it comes to guy, uh, but it's just like you know, he can be he can be a little prick. Yeah, when it comes to comedic performances, like he's one. His tone and his delivery is like one of the best, like that whole dry humor. But he's, uh, yes. he's, he's exactly like uh, Chevy Chase, right? Like Chevy Chase, honestly, funny performances and everything, but the guy's yeah. an asshole, right? Like from what you hear, like what you read, <laughs> especially how he treated uh, Garrett Moore <laughs> and all those guys on SNL. And yeah, well, he was he was one of the ones that thought he didn't belong there. That he thought he was yeah. already, you know, what was the whole thing? The whole uh, ready for prime time or not ready for? Prime yeah, not time. ready. He thought he was ready for prime time. time. Yeah, and um, yeah, I but mean, when you look you know, at like uh, some of the stuff is like a uh, funny farm, Fletch, and even all the vacations, especially Christmas vacation when he has that meltdown. He has uh, he has moments his... in movies, but it's not like you know every movie is a win. Mm-hmm. It's not that every you know every performance that he does is is just spot on. I mean, he, like if you look at Vegas Vacation, not a good yeah, movie. yeah. That's that's kind of like the down, the decline yeah. of it. So but my my favorite yeah, Bill Murray performance, hands down, is in King. What about Bob? Yeah, uh, which one? Uh, what about Bob? Maybe that might be. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a really good performance of his but you know definitely uh definitely kingpin for me as oh McCracken. kingpin yeah <laughs> okay okay that's what I, that's I, my I favorite you. word that's my favorite comedy of like all time like oh I, really i laugh at that movie still like, okay that three amigos uh still three amigos is a good movie yeah three amigos is definitely uh the mask i still think is like the mask. Uh, that's my that's my favorite Jim Carrey movie. Oh, Jim Carrey. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, he wasn't in that. Um, yeah, yeah. No, Jim Carrey's good. I, I prefer Jim's performance in, like, Liar Liar. Mm-hmm. Um, I, 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 I dig that. I, um, Dumb and Dumber is is really good. You know, I, you know every yeah, time I mean, I, now that I watch Dumb and Dumber, like, to me, where I find I find Jeff Daniels more funnier than Jim. Jeff Daniels really he he's he, a he's underrated he, as like a comedic he's underrated actor. as a comedic uh, uh, actor. So yeah, I just I think his his performances uh, in in that movie were were um uh, just on par. But I mean I I do like uh, I do like Jim's work. I like a lot of Jim's earlier work. Some of the later yeah. stuff just just you know he's just there for the paycheck. Yeah, but now yeah now he's more serious. Like the last time he was like. Honestly, the last time he was like back to '90s Jim Carrey was the Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, yes, now, he he did he did do a pretty good performance for that, right? For that Cause, yeah, because that was like '90s Jim Carrey, total. Up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. When he started taking on projects like the Number Twenty Three, and, and he started trying to become more of a serious actor and be mm-hmm. taken serious or whatever. Uh, that's kind of for me when I when I kind of checked out with with him, I was just like, oh, okay, all right, well. But he have, he's such a fun. he's such a physical actor, and doing that stuff like I remember doing um, some improv troops and uh, some training and everything, and we had to do some slapstick and mm-hmm. almost like what sort of like what Carrie did, and I don't know how this guy does it. Like he would do it every night. Or every time on... he will perform, or even every take, because it, it's yeah. totally exhausting. Like the, his style of comedy, to be that high energy and well, it's just like Robin Williams, you know. Yeah. Uh, Williams exactly. had that same, you mm-hmm. know, energy about him, and uh, yeah. So I, and and that's you know why I liked uh, his comedy. You know, I just I I really resonated with with him as well. So yeah, the, yeah. The morning Vietnam, bro. <laughs> yeah yeah i know he's uh his his level of energy is is one that is i want to say can't be really matched uh by yeah because i by actors today. either you can you got to be a personality like like those guys yeah and do your own whereas some whereas no. then you get like a guy <laughs> from um 
like like even with uh Bill Murray, it's like mm-hmm. his style is so laid back. But depending on what uh, the situation is, it's it's hilarious. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So no, I I, I definitely I, I agree with that. I agree with That's that. It. And even like some people like uh, that you watch, like Fatal J. Every t- he's always so high octane. It's like, dude, like, what are you taking? Uh, <laughs> are you taking like some <laughs> pre-workout c4 <laughs> before you stream or anything like that whereas like oh, some man. guys is like oh okay hey guys well, how's it going sure sure i mean some people can be you know high energy i mean you know and and for the most part i'm pretty high energy myself uh just kind of this is just a chill stream here yeah so i'm pretty low-key you know whatever it's all good I'm just, you know, hey, I'm glad that, you know, people are here. I'm glad they're you know, stopping by, checking us out, seeing, seeing what's up, you know, saying hello. Uh, that's always fun. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I don't uh, – I'm not exerting a whole lot of energy here. I'm just trying to think about how I want how I want this thing to sort of come across and look. Um, let's see. But, yeah, man, so you said you're you're excited for Halloween. Um, and what is yeah, so is. different about this particular film? Well, um, now, this is the second film in the, in this new trilogy okay. with Halloween back in 2018, I think. Yeah. 2018. Okay. So the, okay. So forgive me if I haven't really been paying attention oh, to no, the Halloween no. franchise. Okay. Uh, but what I, there was, is there a film that people are, like, is it H two O or, or the, is there a film that they're like disavowing that they're like, yeah, no, oh, so just, basically you know, that didn't happen. It's uh, it's picking up right from after the first film. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like just forgetting everything after you after the first one, like part two and oh, okay season of the witch. I I, I saw the one stuff. with uh, where she's like old, right? I mean, of course she's old, but uh, like yeah. she, she's got the, the the long, you know, the hair, you know, old white hair or, and so that would be uh 20 yeah 2018 uh, that's 2018 that and that's the yeah, one so that people like i don't know if people like it but hey it's it's a new halloween i guess <laughs> but then you got the rob <laughs> yeah. zombie halloweens that's a totally different thing on its own okay so yeah i, I remember that i remember that he, he was an escape convict or something and and uh and he he was he went into a bathroom and and uh, I remember that one. Hmm. He was uh, he was in there was tormenting somebody in the bathroom or some shit. Um, but I also heard that like uh, Michael Myers' face was uh, what's his face? Um, Shatner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the original, they needed a mask, so they took Shatner's Star Trek mask. They they Flip took it. his um, his impression right. Mm-hmm. They flipped uh, and, it. Yeah. yeah flipped it in, inside out. And that's that's the Michael Myers mask. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, I, that's I what just it is. Uh, they interviewed mask. him and he was like, Yeah, I, you know, I, I was told this and you know, this is blah 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 and whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know he just came back from space too. Uh yeah, sure. And so <laughs> <laughs> uh Mr. Conspiracy Theory believes that William Shatner went to space. Gotcha. No, gotcha. no, yeah, yeah, he did. He did. He just went to space. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I completely agree with you. He certainly did. Yeah, they, they took him out there, and you know, they went into low Earth orbit, and uh, chat, yeah. chat. Yeah, it's all over the timeline today. <laughs> no, I, I saw it, and I, I, I saw it, but I, I, again, I'm one of the guys, and I don't care who knows this, but I'm one of the guys. It's like we never went to the fucking moon. Aha! Uh-huh. So there you go. Yeah. So you do believe that Stanley? I Kubrick... do believe that people. Oh, St- that Stanley Kubrick was was approached, and I believe that yeah. they did that because of the space race, and they wanted mm-hmm. to claim it first. And uh, that's why all the uh, the NASA affiliates are like, uh, "Well, we had that technology, but somehow we lost it." And that's I'm right. like, "Yeah, the most important." thing in in all of human history as far as technology is concerned you got got erased like like a vhs tape erase and and uh so so therefore now we have nothing to uh to to substantiate the claim or 
whatever. And it's like, no, that guy's come on. That's that's bullshit. Just 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 mm -hmm. tell us you you've never been there. Tell us you can't get past the the, the two Van Allen belts uh, of radiation that could kill. And and the, all the astronauts that were there are still living. We got because that's the um, that's the biggest uh, uh, complaint with the Russians. Because they kept on asking, how how do you guys manage to go past those two radiation? Exactly, and they're radiation like, belts. they're like, thank you for your question. It's like, uh, we don't need to answer that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Next question. It's like, oh, we don't. <laughs> you're still on the blacklist, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, uh, but we will answer about the DCEU. We have yes. information on that. So. <laughs> if, you give, if you ask us about the air cut, we can answer that. We can but, answer about the air cut, um, but yeah. How to get to uh, space? No, no, no. We, we, we yeah. those are classified. So yeah, so no, I don't, I don't buy that crap, and and you know, hey, whatever. It's it's you know, it's just it's one of those things where it's like, come on, dude. I mean, how far, how how much are you wanting me to spend my disbelief? To, to pretend that you guys accomplished something that no one else is willing to to even attempt to accomplish. Like, you're trying to tell me that the other nations just simply gave up. And they're like, the you know what, we're... It. Yeah, they, they, the Americans did it, so therefore, there's no reason for us to do it. No. no. The Americans have, have accomplished it. Thank you, America. There's a funny mockumentary. That's bullshit. a funny mockumentary called uh, Operation Avalanche. It it deals with the whole thing of like uh, of them. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's a it's a mockumentary film. It's it's a comedy. Oh, okay. And it deals okay. with the whole thing about trying to, um, you know, like the U.S. government approaching uh, Stanley Kubrick about, you know, filming yeah. them, <laughs> the lunar landing and everything. Sure, it's, sure, sure. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. And then there's also um, this other documentary about The Shining, and how oh, really? really that's oh how he, like, he had the Apollo thing and all that or whatever yeah, or in the show. Was, uh, one the I, and now movie. I have seen that, and, yeah. and you know what? I, that to me is is that screams legit because like his ego must have been like really hit to not been able to to say hey i guys yeah. I, I was actually i was a part of this thing you know and i shot this yeah i did that and you guys believed it it's really awesome you know and, and i can't i can't share it but there's so, also yeah there's also the um the story about how with 2001 nasa approached uh, stanley and his crew was like about their spacesuits because they were trying to yeah. figure out like how to make spacesuits to get into Right, and, and, and you, you look at it, and if you look at the craft, mm -hmm. the craft is, is made out of parts that, that we could come up with, you know, on a set for a TV show, on a set for a TV show, and um, yeah, I mean, it's like, come on, dude, really, you, you expect me to believe that you guys did this? Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't. I don't believe that you guys did yeah. this. And and it, it has to be something to where that it's, it's either the the moon is not what it seems, and you can't land on it, and uh, it was or you know or uh, because, because the transformers are there. That's where the uh, uh, Sentinel Prime well, is. The thing that's interesting about the moon is that you never see you only see one side. Yeah. You only see one side. You never see the opposite end. It, you, it doesn't rotate like a ball. You know, it doesn't spin. It doesn't tilt forward, backward, any other way. And me being an artist, I'm looking at it and I'm like, it's it's almost as if it's and it, it, all you see is this. Mm -hmm. If you look at any picture of the moon, you only see only this. You don't see yeah. this. You don't see this. You know, you only see this, and you're never going to see that. And um, and that has got to be something. It, it, it there's something to that that I you know I'm not smart enough to to figure out. Um, so this has been go deep with, uh, <laughs> dude. You know, I mean, you should uh, you, know, you should hit up a uh, what's it, Pilly? Uh, hit up a uh, thing, Mr. West Ashley. It's like, hey man, let's talk about the moon. Well, we uh, when he was when he was on the Foreigner show, 
uh, you know, I was talking to him and I was like, yeah, you know, Hey, you know, let's, if you want to go deep, that's, that's what you do, man. You know, you should just, just hit it hard. But yeah, no, I don't, uh, I, I, not like these, you know, anybody else, you know, I don't really care about talking to people. I'm not afraid to talk to anybody. But that's just, uh, that's not something that, you know, I mean, there, there's a lot of people out there though, man. There's a lot of people out there like, Oh, you don't talk to this person. Don't talk to that oh, person. No. Don't talk to, if you talk to this person, you can't talk to that person. If you talk to that person, you can't talk to this person. It's like, dude, I'm just here just to kill time, man. I, I don't have to be here. Dude, oh, uh, we just we uh my my son's just downloaded this new game that I've been playing. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's called New World, and okay. so we just started playing that, and it's like a, it's 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 like my my DC Universe game, the one that I love, and um, and it's like Knights, like of the Old Republic, or not the Old Republic. That's Star Wars. It's 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 like medieval knights. Oh, like Templar Knights. And yeah. Okay. And there's three factions and, and you sort of, you have this big map or whatever, and you're supposed to like, you know, go off and do things. And it's, it's a leveling game and, and you go craft and all this. It's, it's right. a multiplayer MMO or whatever. And it's, it's pretty fun so far. I'm like, okay, oh, nice. you know, pretty cool. You, you like, you, you, you can uh, go kill animals and, and shoot them with your bow and all that stuff. And then you go and you, you know, you dress them or whatever, and then you, you know, cook their meat and all that. And this, oh, that's cool. It's it's very uh, there. There's a lot of a lot of love, care, and detail went into it, and and that's mm -hmm. what will get me hooked on on the game is is how much, um, you know how how, how much love goes into it from the uh, uh, the dev team. So, oh yeah, yeah, man. Uh, so I, I I definitely recommend. At least having a look at it, I, I made my character. My character's name on there, of course, is is uh, Neff. Uh, not Neff. Uh, it's uh, Zeverfet. Oh. So he's on there. I made so him. So Knight of Zever. Uh, Knight of Zever. Knight of Zever. It's you. <laughs> what the Hello there. there. <laughs> Come. Knight Turn me into a newt. Come, Knight Nicotina. We're off to take Jerusalem. <laughs> you're so let's lame. Go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's, man. Let's that was go to Jerusalem to dig for the Holy Land. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yes. <laughs> Getting into religion is a completely different go deep for uh, uh well, isn't isn't that one of the one of the missions if you're the knights? <laughs> so uh, take the I holy land away? No, this is uh this here is, is all is strictly fantasy. So they make a, a oh, new land. Okay. So it's not based in, in any sort of reality. Okay, okay. Uh, so, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. Um, okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely, you can definitely go deep on there. So <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about knights. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. So knights are. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. Uh, do you play any video games? Honestly, I haven't played a video game in a long, long time, man. It's like oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's, even on my phone, I haven't played anything. I still have my PS2. I still have games. Oh, to, like, nice! Right? Well, PS2s are cool. I mean, I love PS2. We played on that uh, on our PS2 for a while. I uh, we used to play Battlefront all the time. The last, uh, um, the last, uh, what do you call it? System Star I bought. Fighter? <laughs> yes, that uh, Wing Commander. <laughs> With oh Mark yeah! Hamill. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, what's his face, Mark Hamill? Yeah. The last uh, system I actually bought was uh, the Genesis uh, Mini. Genesis Mini. Okay. Yeah. So well, this this game that, that I'm talking about is uh, it's PC based. So, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just uh, not a lot of. Uh, but I should yeah I should definitely yeah. upgrade to whatever system that's coming out. So many yeah. games that's, that looks cool. There there are man and and uh, like I said it, it's it's a, it's an interesting culture. Mm -hmm. uh, to say the least, you know, as far as um, you know, these video games are concerned, it's an. Oh, I was so into it, man! Like, yeah, back in like I used, I used to buy all the PlayStation magazines. Uh, oh uh, yeah, what's it? PSM uh, official PlayStation magazine. I was always watch G four. I hear that's coming back. Oh, no, G four. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, Nintendo Power and everything as oh such, man, I used to collect Nintendo Powers like I had I, yeah, so I many. Have. EGM, I, I, I bought so many magazines of those. And, oh yeah, okay. 
I still mm-hmm. have stacks of those things too. It's, it's yeah. weird, like looking back at these magazines, like what was amazing graphics. But now it's a. Uh, but now it's like there was a point where I stopped, mm-hmm. and I I still follow, but I never like actually got back fully into it. It's now more yeah. of a recreational thing. Like it's not a. I uh, stayed away from being like a hardcore gamer and everything. Yeah. And also everything has gone online, and like to me, like. And there was, I'm never was a fan of like even going online, even for some PS2 games like SOCOM or anything like that. I always like yeah. stay like sticking to like offline and adventure okay. games and yeah, sticking to that part. Well, this one definitely is an inv- ad- adventure game. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's fun. I'll have to preview that. I don't like any of that stuff right there. That looks gross. Uh, let me zoom in so I can see what I'm erasing. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's it's definitely an adventure game, and it's pretty fun. Um, and if if you like those types of games where you grind, uh, you'll like that because it's it's definitely a game where you would probably play for for a good sizable amount of time. And uh, and yeah, I mean, you know, you, you go and you can kill wolves and just all kinds of stuff, man. Just oh, this sounds you, like you uh, basically go make your own adventure almost. Oh, this sounds like Oregon Trail. Oh, yeah. Oregon Trail, yeah, it is. <laughs> Oregon Trail, it's remastered. So oh, this is the new go. Oregon tra- Trail. See? So yeah, there man, go, this is uh, you're you're missing out. If you I like know. Oregon Trail, you're gonna love New World. Oh, these kids don't know what gaming is. Oregon Trail. <laughs> Oregon Trail is is dope. You like, you've never, one you've never seen a game like Oregon Trail. I don't think I don't think these kids these days they would actually pa- pass the game. I don't think they could beat it. They can't. No, it's too hard. It's too hard. Yeah, there's just no way. You honestly can't pass it. Oregon Trail? No, no. They'd have more uh, an easier time passing like Tetris than they could Oregon <laughs> well, Trail. I, that's I would say that's even harder for them. Really? Oh, well, wow. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, you're going deep on that one. <laughs> I mean, or even Doctor Mario. Imagine, imagine oh, these God, guys playing Dr. that. Mario. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was. I, I never got into that one. I, I love Tetris, but I never got into Doctor Mario. I just I couldn't. I was like, okay, well, oops, there goes my pin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it opened something. Uh, there we go. Um, what I'm actually doing is like I'm watching old like uh, playthroughs from old SNES games and oh yeah and stuff. Yeah, like I, I was just yesterday watching, or even like how how they made the game or how the game came to be like uh okay i was watching like how they made um or how they uh, made robocop versus terminator if you remember playing that game oh wow no i don't remember that game no no oh, very cool concept very cool game huh so you're basically okay. robocop and you just go kill the basic story go, is that you go kill a bunch of terminator yeah because the idea was that right. skynet awesome. the way skynet um was formed is that uh-huh. they took uh, uh, the computer chip and the programming from Robocop from yeah. OCP to build Skynet uh-huh. because Robocop was the only successful, uh, the only successful, successful uh, product, uh, yeah, basically. Person, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because so Robocop, Robocop uh, 2 sucked. <laughs> well, I do, I do like some of it, some of Robocop 2, I do like, like some really? aspect, the whole nuke. Okay. Oh, you know, like nuked? Oh no, Nuke! The oh, whole, the drug. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because wasn't it Newt the kid? Oh, that's in uh, Aliens. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay, no, you're right. Nuke. Uh, Nuke was the drug. Uh, yeah. uh, that what's that? That bald guy took, and the bald guy became. Yeah, he became the know, new like uh, killer. Uh, Robocop, but yeah, but OCP. I mean, he, it, but his Robocop. I always had a problem with that because his Robocop looked nothing like the original Robocop. <laughs> it was like, what the hell? It's like the Robocop looked like the death machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was like okay, this is like what RoboCop would have been like if, if they had done it on psychedelics. Yeah, this is what uh, who you want to like right. patrol the streets. I don't, I don't think. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no thanks. Oh man, let's see. But yeah, man, it's like so some of those some of those old games are like there's some real ingenuity into them. Mm. Let's see. But still. That's cool. Let's see. You. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, to bring down. I, I 
again, you know, I'm just formulating this stuff as I go. Mm -hmm. um, I like this pose a lot better, a little bit more, um, more powerful. He's hunched over, but I'm fine with that. I was gonna, mm -hmm. I was gonna change the whole pose altogether, but I was like, yeah, I know, I, I do like that 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 hand cannon because I just yeah, I don't like the way cool. it's yeah, it's pretty pretty dope. I have seen other ones where the, it has like five what what do you call those? Taldrons, taldrons, whatever tendrils, tendrils. Yeah, the tendrils. <laughs> um, but I'm like, you know what? Three, three's dope. That's cool. He can he can change it at any time. Yeah, that's true because he can. Uh morph is like he can he can morph his stuff into whatever he wants and that was mm -hmm. the cool thing about the the uh the snyderverse thing uh was that his um uh his uh uh cyborg was going to be able to use sort of nanotech and and make himself look mm -hmm. normal you mm -hmm. know by the end so that that would that would have been neat i was like oh, okay you know it's kind of nanotech a, uh, a little bit that's cool i get it i, I can dig it uh, so yeah, so there you have it. <laughs> what I like is like it's it's all clean. That's what I like about it. Like for me, um, yeah. I'm just doing like figuring out how the body is, but yeah, you can see uh, like there's so much, like there's so much detail I put in. But that's just yeah, because yeah, I grew yeah. up on like image and. I mean, I I, I, I like I like the way you sketch when you you know you just kind of throw it all out there, right? Mm -hmm. And and because I mean that's generally you know what you do what I'm what I'm trying to do here it's a little bit different this is sort of my uh, is is I try to bring out the final look which really mm -hmm. I shouldn't I should I should do what you do and just sort of like you know draw you know like I have you know these these uh, 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 ovals here or whatever but I I try to you know find what I want and sort of you know define that a little bit and I can get myself caught up into you know. Uh, uh, different issues or problems or whatever, but but what I notice, like the way you draw, is that you have everything set, but you don't go overboard in like the shading or anything as such, right? Yeah, no, I, I'm yeah. not. I'm not for first and foremost a comic book shader. Mm -hmm. uh, in that, like you know, that's not my it's not my forte. I'd love to learn how that you know how that sort of. Uh, how, you know how these how these guys just just kind of get that done and ha and get those looks. Um, that's but the thing is, like when you see it, when you saw with mine, like you saw obviously, okay, this guy obviously copied it. I, I obviously traced. <laughs> if you remember that, I obviously traced a bunch of like McFarlane, Eric Larson, all those image guys, and oh, okay. everything. Like I'm still, I'm still based on the, like that old '90s, like heavy, heavy, um, heavy details, right? Oh, okay. Okay. As opposed to like now, like nowadays, you, with some of the comic art I've seen, there's only there's a lot of artists that just keep it very minim minimalistic and very simple. Yeah. You know, like um, like who's the new artist doing um, Superman? Or even uh, uh, you're talking about that guy. What's his name? Um, yeah, I, I know who you're talking. Uh, the, the, yeah. So like, so, he just had a run. They just did it, uh, and it's. It's like a popular, popular name, name. yeah. Or uh, even like, yeah, some of these guys, they don't, they don't go overboard as like say Todd McFarlane did. Yeah, like if you remember McFarlane, like everything was shaded, right? Yeah. They just these guys just do the basic outline and just mm. let the Starts let with the colors M? make something or. Uh, uh, no, what was that guy's name? Troy McClure. Um, Troy McClure. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. I, for one, will uh, was it our alien, our ant overlords? <laughs> Let's see his name. No, no, that's not him. Did you ever uh, pick up a Wizard magazine back in the day? Uh, I used to pick them up and put them back um, <laughs> because I would read what I wanted and then I'd put them back. Uh, I, I never, to... I never bought. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This guy. What is his name? I bought it solely for the crash courses and how Bendis. They, 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 oh, Bendis. But he's is that he, the guy. No, he only he, writes, was, right? was he, he the story. Be. He was the story. Yeah, Michael Bendis or oh, God, yeah. I can't remember his name. Um, no, I, I I'm not sure. Um, that's I don't know. Bendis Reese. Uh, Prado, Sinclair, 
okay. Johnson, Sam Pierre, Lucas. Uh, George? Are... Uncle George? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uncle, oh. Uncle George. Uncle George. He's finally made it. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. No, I, I, I do oh, like, uh, and, and this is kind of how I've always been. It's just sort, sort of like I like less. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in my in my drawings like i feel like you know that whole less is more is definitely resonates with me mm -hmm. uh because you know I, I think i think i don't want too much uh distracting from whatever it is that uh that i'm trying to do uh and i think one thing i'm gonna do here which i don't normally do but i'm gonna do it this time what you gonna do there ryan I'm going to rotate this, uh, this leg. You're going to rotate it. You're going to rotate yeah, that let's cap. See. Yeah. Then I'll move it here. Let's see. I'll probably have to move it up a little bit. Okay. So it would have to live there. Mm -hmm. so if it lives there, then I'll have to keep it there. Let me do the same thing for this side here. A little happy leg. Let me move that happy leg over here a little bit. Oh, he's a happy leg. Happy there leg. we go. There, that looks decent. Um, I like how the top part isn't connected to the bottom. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, the top bones connect the I have not created the cod piece. Uh, <laughs> Not created the most important part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like there was that one thing that uh, that they were talking about. Like, oh no, um, with uh, with Joss, they were talking about like you know how his. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. His, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I was like, that's really? It's like that was really a discussion, guys. Come Ricky, on. You're, you're talking about you're talking about. A I'm talking about. Poker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about cyborgs, pokey, oh, Pokemon. Joss. Have you no shame, Joss? Uh, all right. Look Good right heavens. About there. Okay. Yeah, there's a. Um, I I follow this. Uh, no, I actually I subscribe to this one channel called Kayfabe Commentaries. And okay. They they mostly um, they talk about like all of a uh, comic book art history and everything as such. It's really cool. They sometimes they have videos where they take like an old issue and dissect it and dissect the art because they got like two comic um, comic artists uh, talking about okay yeah say, this guy's yeah. art was it was fast because it was commissioned to do this in a month or this guy's art for this panel is great because you see all the details and you see that with the panel he does this and this and this so mm -hmm. you should check it out it's really it's really informative for like what's it called artists. Kayfabe commentaries. Kayfabe. Okay. Yeah, let me let me find it. Yeah, man. Let's go. Okay. Oh, was mm. that the? Was a cartoon commentary? Something like that. Ah, cartoonist kayfabe. Sorry. Cartoonist kayfabe. Yeah. Okay. There we so go. They did a... ah, no, I don't like that. Mm. Where the ankle there is, go. ankle's right the here. Link for you. There. All right, man. Cool. Cool. And then his, uh, his other part of the foot's there. And that comes down. That comes down. Okay, yeah, that's better. Better foot. Okay, like that foot a little bit better. I need to make that one a little bit bigger. So what I will do is I'll move him up. And I called him Stick. Okay, well, oh, cool. The stick. Mm, stick figure. I got plenty of room to rise. Okay, sweet. And then I'll just uh, make him a little bit more level. Okay. Yes, we like that. All right. Now let me let me go ahead and well, what am I doing? Match that foot with this over here. Let me just change that a little bit. 
All right. Let's see. I'm gonna go back to the brush. Okay. And what tool are you, what 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 tool are you using to draw that? By the way. What tool? Oh, this is yeah, a program. Photoshop. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is just Photoshop. Nothing. Nothing uh, crazy here. But you're using a pad, right? Uh, it's not a pad. It's 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 a. Um, uh, it's just it's it's a monitor. Oh, and okay. So, yeah, let's see. So there's that, and then I can go there. I can go up, and then I've got that. Don't like that. Ah, you know what? I don't like that foot. I had a better foot earlier. Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, feet and here. hands are like sometimes the hardest for me to do. Oh or, yeah. Like, I'm never satisfied with like drawing feet and hands. Mm. And then... Because it's like okay, what's the right? What's all right about it, right? Then sometimes I just like, you know, forget it. I'll just do a Rob Liefeld and just do whatever. Make him pointy. <laughs> <laughs> pointy feet. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. I'm going to go like that. Okay. And then we'll go back here for that. And we'll just do that. If you're just joining us, uh, this is Cyborg. And uh, there we go. If you can't tell, this is Ray. Say hello to Ray. <laughs> yeah. Ray! Ray. <laughs> no, not that Ray. Uh, let's see. Let's change this up a little bit. I'm going to work a little closer with that. I like that. The heel needs to sort of be a little bit more mm -hmm. flush. You remember the old 90s uh, Spider-Man comics? Like after McFarlane took over, it was, uh, who was that artist? Mark Bagley, but every time he would draw Spider-Man's feet, it was so pointy. Oh, you know? well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way yeah, no, no, no. too pointy. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, oh, that seems uncomfortable. But yeah, I mean, it, that was just sort of his... Like his know, style, yeah. His his style, yeah. So it's just like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm not... I, I don't agree with it, but I'm okay with it. You know, I don't believe. I say, hey, uh, Bagley is the one comic book art, uh, one artist I identify more with Spider Man. But only because, oh, yeah? like, those comics, like, I picked up the most, like, his entire run. Like, I got oh, into okay. McFarlane, like, yeah. later collecting his issues, but it was the Bagley run I mostly, like, picked up the most. That was a whole uh, um, maximum carnage too. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Oh, and you you saw uh, what you call it, right? Um, Venom. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw this movie. You, and you know what, and what did, did you think of uh, Venom? So with Venom, I realized like this movie and the movie before it, these movies are just like those rush hour movies it's all about <laughs> okay like with the first one once uh like venom got with eddie and you got tom hardy committed to doing this whole thing yeah then i realized that's the same thing as like when jackie and chris tucker get together it's all about the interplay between mm -hmm. these two rush hour those movies they're fun to watch but there's nothing like Nothing you could say like these are amazing movies or these are. Oh no, they're they, yeah, yeah, movie, yeah. whatever. I, I definitely have issues with with every single iteration mm. of uh, of that that I've seen. Hey, what's up, DC? Hey, man, sorry I didn't see you. Hey. Uh, but yeah, yeah, not a, not a whole lot of fam here today. But man, it's, it's all good. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that everybody that has shown up uh, is showing up. Oh, there's there's the other link. Okay, uh, kayfabe, got it. Yeah, cartoonist um, kayfabe. Yeah. yeah, so check that out, guys. It's a K A Y F A B E cartoonist kayfabe. Uh, interesting. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. But uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry. No, uh, go ahead. As you were saying. No, but yes, yeah, like so. To me, these Venom movies are just like the Rush Hour movies. It's more about seeing Tom Hardy be committed, and sure. just the whole relationship between. Eddie and Venom and seeing whatever hijinks they get into. Yeah, okay. And that's it. That's it. That's that's the selling point. Everything else is like whatever. 
They sure. just have this thing. But I did like the church fight. I thought that was really, uh, it was a really cool setting to use the whole, uh, because of the sound, right? Yeah, yeah, right. I, I, I liked that sort of callback to Spider-Man 3. Uh, I was like, okay, you know what? I mean, I'm not the the most huge fan of Spider-Man Three, but uh, as far as that goes, I'm I'm down. I think that I think that was a a good homage to a movie that not a whole lot of fans support uh, or get behind or are uh, completely on board with. Which uh, I mean, that's, but that's fine. also in the comics too, of where uh, the symbiote's main. Um, uh, one of his, is, yeah, one yeah, of his, his fire and is, also, um, yeah, with sound, yeah, sound. So I mean, it makes sense, you know. But I mean, it's it was it was done before, so mm -hmm. uh, you know, and that's uh, that's cool, that's cool. So I was, I was definitely, yeah, I believe like, I believe like in the comics or Maximum Carnage, that's how they separated. The, okay. Uh, Carnage from Cletus was that Mr. Fantastic built like he built the sonic, um, uh, yeah, the sonic like weapon for Peter okay. to use to shoot. Yeah, and I think you can get them in the game too. Oh, okay. okay. Which was that was a fun game. But, uh, the uh, Spider-Man games. Yeah, the whole Maximum Carnage game because you got everybody right because you, you yeah. can play as Spider-Man or you can play as Venom. And then you get all these other guys coming in to help you, like mm -hmm. Captain America and uh, Deathlock and all these other dudes. And you fight all the bad guys like Hogwoblin. And yeah, yeah, guys. yeah. And that's one thing that, that, I, that I do uh, kind of miss about, uh, about uh, this stuff is that, like, you know, we haven't seen a whole lot of villains and stuff like that. Like, we, we, we have seen, but, I mean, I just... I miss, you know, like Hobgoblin and all that, you know, mm -hmm. they're just, uh, they're characters that are a little bit more obscure, but you know, they, they definitely, um, they definitely, in my opinion, would be crowd pleasers. You know, you would, you know, people, if they saw yeah. live action versions of them, that'd be, that'd be pretty dope. So I think it's also like how you, the tone of it, like, how do you want to treat these characters, right? Like, with Venom, yeah. They, like I said, you, you treat it like it's basically Jackie Chan and Chris, <laughs> Chris Tucker. You're just seeing, like, how these guys... It's a comedy between... Buddy comedy between these two It's guys. a buddy comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. can see that. I can Whereas see opposed that. to, like, Hobgoblin, like, or even the Green Goblin, do you want to make this guy really threatening and scary and maniacal mm -hmm. and whatnot? It's like... How do you want to do? Well, it? I thought I thought Carnage was pretty pretty good when he was on screen. I, yeah, I liked the current like what they had with Carnage. It was just too little of it. It was too little. Especially, it, especially it, the it, there was no character development. Um, you know, he didn't really say much. Didn't really mm -hmm. have any real connection. Yeah. Uh, with um, with Eddie, you know, or you know, uh, Venom or whatever. Uh, it was just you know, one and done, and, and okay, you know. Yeah. So so we so we made so we did Carnage, Carnage guys. Uh, what what y'all think of him? <laughs> it's you it's know. basically just getting getting away, finding a way for Eddie to meet Spider Man. Basically. Oh well, that at the end, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the only thing that that I want to say shocked me because you know none of the scoopers knew it no. um, was that you know hey it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't Andrew Garfield. I was like, "Oh wow!" So the the one Spider Man that I thought could have had yeah, a, because he connection. yeah his his Spider Man fits within his this his world. I was Spider Man fits. I always believe that yeah, and he deserves he at least is deserving of one movie. But if it's not, you know, those two movies, I I still enjoy. Um, I enjoy bits of them. Uh, I don't like. Certain things like uh, oh, what's his face, um, Green Goblin uh, Junior, or whatever you want to call him. Yeah. Uh, you know that was the 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 whole costume was horrible. I just I wasn't uh, I wasn't down for that. But so uh, so this is where I am going to end this particular drawing here. I just wanted I finished his his body and let me erase some of the stuff here. 
Um, but yeah, and so got his crotch too. Uh -huh. I, I, I was like, you know what? If if there's anything I finish, it's going to be his crotch. We took notes. So. From <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to uh, probably what I'll do is go back and refine some things uh, for next time. Uh, so it's not just uh, just a drawing stream. Uh, I'll probably I don't really have to ink it because. Mm. Uh, but I'll add shadows. Uh, I'll I'll do uh, I'll do shadowing, and uh, I might erase what I did on the neck. I didn't like that that much. Um, but I will uh, probably come back and, and do that. But for the most part, I'm I'm pretty satisfied, pretty happy with it. It's not a hugely dynamic pose. Like his his legs are just sort of standing there. But it's like yeah. you know whatever. Um, this is the second uh, 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 hand cannon that I've drawn. Uh, so. So there you have it. But yeah, let me uh, let me just sort of zoom in a little bit on this uh, this guy, and let me drag him down a little bit. I'm going to refine his hand here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to make everything sort of match uh, and the aesthetic. So yeah, so they have it. I have basic feet here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with his feet. If I'm going to keep them in that shape or anything, or or maybe change it or whatever. But uh, guys, uh, you know. Uh, leave me your feedback. Let me know your thoughts of uh, how you liked uh, or or didn't like what you saw with uh, uh, with uh, with Cyborg here. Yeah, um, you know, it's just I, I'm I'm curious. I, I appreciate everybody that comes by and uh, and watches and contributes. Uh, it makes uh, makes this a lot more fun. Um, and uh, Steve, uh, final thoughts. I'll give you a little final thoughts. <laughs> final thoughts for for, for tonight or just man, for for Fandom coming up. You got three Oof. days. Oh yeah, that is Fandom. Yeah, uh, yeah Fandom in three the... days. Are you excited? So you're excited. <laughs> so what are you most excited about for uh, for Fandom? I'm excited that everyone has a Fandomic good time. That's what I'm. That's, have a good time, uh, that's all you can ask for. Yeah, you know? just have a good time. If they yeah. announce something, if they don't announce something, hey, you know, it's just four hours, and after that... It, it is. It is, and I don't think Saturday. that we're going to have anything that's going to come across yeah. and blow our minds as far as like, whoa. whoa, I didn't see that coming. I think, you know, mm -hmm. with, uh, with the stuff that we do get, you know, hopefully it'll be good. We'll be able to talk about it, discuss it, whatever. Um, yeah. But I don't see anything coming from this that's going to make me uh a believer mm. <laughs> uh but with that guys uh thank you so much for uh, for tuning in uh again and check us out tomorrow for uh our four nerds episode uh where we're going to talk a little bit more about what we're going to do with the channel and uh and everything like that so uh you guys have a great evening and uh thanks uh thanks again to my guys oh no that's not them Oh, um, the Suicide Squad is your Suicide Squad. Squad. No, no, oh, this is my cool. Suicide Squad. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, uh, everybody who has uh, gone to the Teespring store, that's not it, gone to the Teespring store or Tee Public store. Uh, what I like about this is, yeah, my channel is not monetized. I don't care. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, you can join the Patreon. Appreciate that for everybody who's done that. You guys are excellent. I love you so much. Thank you so much. It really helps out. Uh, but you can also go and get it, get yourself a shirt, and at least you've got something to wear. At least you mm. know it's not just about you know, hey, let me just you know give some money or whatever. You get something in return, and uh, and I really appreciate that. Uh, also, you can donate uh, and still get one of these uh, these awesome jerseys. Hundred percent of the proceeds will still go to AFSP. Uh, I'm not going to stop uh, advertising that. I'm not going to take that off of the site. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much it, man. And uh, yeah, I didn't have anything else to cover. Uh, also, yeah, we were talking about Ghostbusters. Uh, check out my merch. Uh, <laughs> and uh, grab yourself just in a, time for the new movie too. Just in time for the new movie. Yes, uh, I and and the ones I liked uh, were Slimer, uh, the scary Slimer, and then the uh, the no ghost, your front and back. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, that's gonna be it for me. And uh, you guys have a great night. I have seen shit that'll turn you white. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, check out our other videos and subscribe for more. Be sure to leave your comments and suggestions down below. Don't forget to check out our Team Public and Team Spring store. And a thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. 
Your support is much appreciated. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. This is Zebra Fett, signing off.